Hello my YouTube friends. I don't know about you, but I don't like to spend a lot of time on my live streams searching through scenes and sources to make things happen. Personally, I think the more we can give our focus to the art of entertaining our audience without worrying about the tech side of the broadcast, the better the experience is for everyone. Now, hotkeys can boil down complex tasks into a single keystroke and make switching scenes, using a soundboard, audio, activating sources, and any number of other tasks really easy. And the best part is it's built into OBS so you don't need any expensive external equipment. So let me show you how to use hotkeys to do a lot of cool stuff. Let's get to it! My analytics say that 80% of the folks that watch my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? If so, let me know in the comments, but if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. It's totally free. The first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to change scenes with your hotkeys. Second, I'm gonna show you how to set up a soundboard for your stream using hotkeys. Third, I'm gonna show you how to control scene assets with hotkeys to do all kinds of really cool stuff. Today's video is sponsored by Envato Placeit. Placeit is a marketplace for all kinds of assets that can help you with your YouTube channel. Things like art and live streaming and video assets. You can create amazing face cams and live streaming overlays really easily. There are hundreds of templates and each face cam and overlay can be modified with different designs, colors, text, and text fonts. The process is super easy and you can even incorporate your own logo or if you're like me, your own Placeit design logo. And you can put it right in your design. This gives you an infinite number of overlays and face cam possibilities for your live streams. And they're so easy to create, you can use a different one every time you live stream if you wanted to. So please, click the link in the description and check out Envato Placeit for yourself. If you have the means, supporting the sponsors that support the channel is a great way to help me keep making awesome content that helps you. So thanks. So I have a live stream loaded up with a lot of standard screens that you would find on a normal live stream. And I just wanna show you how to switch back and forth between these using hotkeys. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go down to the right, go into settings and then go into hotkeys. And I'm just gonna search for the scenes that I'm looking for. So we have a be right back, a chatting, an editing, a whole bunch of different scenes, an intermission scene. So I wanna kinda of try to number these up in a way that makes sense. So we're gonna put chatting as number Number zero and I'm using the numpad because I don't generally use that for typing it gives me a full set of keys that I don't have to use I'm gonna put intermission as number one and tutorial as number two and I'm just kind of trying to order these right so I don't like how that's ordered what I'm gonna do is all you have to do is click in the box you can set a new hotkey so I'm gonna put chatting as one intermission as two tutorial as three there isn't any point in assigning a key to the starting soon screen since you're going to start on that screen and you really don't need to go back to it after you're on it. So we just have be right back and ending. So for be right back, we're gonna put the number pad four and ending is the number pad five. And we can put stickers on these keys in order to know exactly which keys do what. Makes it pretty easy. So now all we have to do is press the hot key and there we go. We are now on the chatting intermission and we can go to the tutorial scene and this is all by pressing the number keys that we assigned to each one we've got our be right back scene and we can go to any of the other scenes that we want from be right back so we'll go back to the chatting scene and then we can flip to our end scene and it's really that simple to add hotkeys to change scenes See how easy that is? Now I have a second keyboard that I use for hotkeys and that way I can put stickers on the keys that I'm gonna use for hotkeys and I'm still able to use the first keyboard to type. Now don't get me wrong, I have to use keys I'm not gonna use to type on the other keyboard, but it does make it a lot easier to identify the right keys 
on the second keyboard. The first thing we're gonna do is create our soundboard and to do that, we're gonna create a nested scene. So we're gonna call this NS-Soundboard and click OK. And I'm just gonna move it up above all this other stuff, you know, right below my main cam. And then we're gonna go over to sources. We're gonna click the plus. We're gonna go to media source and we wanna name these sources. You wanna know what they are. You're gonna be happy you did later when you're adding the hotkeys. So we're gonna call this one drama and we're going to browse to the location for this particular source. Now you can download audio sources for these soundboards out on the internet. A lot of them are free. It's not hard to find sounds you're looking for. So there we go. And I'm just going to put close when inactive. I'm going to check that and click OK. And there we go. So now we have our first one in there. When I turn it off and on, you can hear it. Next, we're gonna click the plus and we're gonna go and we're gonna add another. And you can add as many of these audio sources as you have keys on your keyboard for if you want. We're definitely going to name our source and click OK. We're gonna browse to our source and click open. And we're gonna go ahead and click close when inactive and click OK. And if we turn that on and off, there we go. Hump day, yeah! Let's add one more. Click the plus, go to media source, call this one I'm ready, click OK, browse to our file. We're gonna click close when inactive and OK. And I'm gonna adjust the volume on this, it's extra loud. And when we turn it off and then on. Ah! There we go. Now we just need to assign hotkeys to these. So I'm gonna shut them all off, make them not visible. And then I'm gonna go into settings and hotkeys. And we're just going to browse to that nested scene, our NS soundboard. And we're going to assign hotkeys to the show or on and hide, which is off. You always wanna make sure that when you turn these on, you also turn them off. Because if you switch to a scene that has the soundboard in it and you left one on, it will automatically play when you switch to that scene, which is not something you want. So you want to make sure that you assign a key to the on or show and off or hide. Once you assign your hotkeys, you click apply and OK. Now all we need to do is go to a scene where we want our hotkeys. So this chatting scene will work and we're going to click the plus under sources and we're going to go to scene and we're just going to add our soundboard. And there we go. Now any key that we press, it's on the soundboard for these sounds. play those sounds. You can stop the sounds Hump just by day. pressing the same key. Hump so the entire sound doesn't Hump have to play through if you don't want it. You can go ahead and add these soundboard pieces to any one of your scenes. All you have to do is add that soundboard scene in and then use your hotkeys and you're all set. The soundboard is that easy to add once you create it. Now let me show you some cool things that we can do with sources and even filters using the hotkeys. So I've created a scene here that shows a video. Maybe I'm doing a commentary on the video. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and show you that I can hide and show these and they kind of slide off to the right or left. And I have a little background on it as well. Well, obviously these show and hide independently, but we want them to work together. And to do that, we're gonna add some hotkeys. So we're gonna go into settings and we're going to go to this scene and I'm just gonna scroll down and look for it. Then we're going to find our video asset and our background. So the video asset is Witcher. And I'm just going to assign a hotkey to show and hide it. We're gonna use the same hotkey because we can just turn it on and off with the same hotkey. And we're going to turn on and off the vid background with the exact same hotkey. So now if I apply and click OK, when I hit that backslash key, our background and our video just slide in and out. Really, really cool. Now you can do this on multiple videos. So I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna go to media source. We're just gonna add in another video. I'm gonna name it so I know what it is when I'm assigning a hotkey. We're gonna call it other video. And I'm just going to browse to another video that I have on my hard drive here. And this is pretty short, so I'm going to go ahead and check the loop button and click OK. And then I'm just going to size this up so it's about the same size as our other video. We want it to fit into the same formatted area. Now I'm not going to use that other video's background. I could create a new background for this one, but I'm not going to bother. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that if I hide and show it right there, we can do that. But if we wanted to slide in and out, we're going to go to show transitions and go to swipe and we're going to select left and hide transitions and swipe and we're going to go right. Once we assign the transition to this video, I'm just going to hide the Witcher ones and I'm going to move this down to the bottom. Now I'm going to go into my hotkeys and set it up so we can bring it in and out. So I'm going to click on settings. I'm going to scroll down to our review area and I'm just going to look for this video. This one's called other video and I'm going to assign a new hotkey to this one. We'll use the asterisk and we'll click apply and OK. And of course, you're going to notice when I show and hide it, it doesn't come up and that's because it's actually behind the background. So I just need to move this up. And now when I click our hotkey, it shows and hides. Now you can do this with more than just video sources. I'm gonna go to a display capture. I'm gonna add an existing one. As you can see, I have DaVinci Resolve up here. And I'm just gonna size this up and put it in the same general location. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it down below my window here. So it's a little behind there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and right click on it. And you can see there's no transition to it yet. We're gonna add that when I show and hide it. So we're gonna go to show transition. We're gonna use that same swipe. We're gonna swipe left to come in and we're gonna go to hide transition and we're gonna swipe. We'll change it to right to go out and click okay. And now we're gonna assign hotkeys to this one. So we're just gonna go into hide keys and we're going to go to our review scene and we just need to go to show display capture hide display capture and we'll assign the minus key to this one and we'll click apply and okay and now when we press the minus key that will slide in so now we can actuate any of these scenes just by pressing the three assigned hotkeys so it gives you the ability to add and remove with some cool transitions anything you want just using simple hotkeys friggin awesome if you want to see how you can have your audience trigger alerts that change scenes in your live stream you should definitely check this video out and if you're always looking for tools tips and tricks that can help make you a better youtuber or live streamer subscribe to the channel it's totally free my name is michael fire jr thank you so much for watching have a great day and i'll see you in the next one